catch me on the deer It's a la vida Pobreta Saludos y respetos Full bless Manseco Flo Dish Bob Greetings to all Hopefully everybody's having a good day And uh, thank you La Soclamati for the view Highly appreciate you guys Stopping by and giving me some of your time Cause I know time is precious Time nowadays is very expensive. Sometimes we're on the go. We hardly have time for this, for that. Y pues, today, man, wow. I'm gonna talk about somebody on the spotlight representing the raza, the culture, the gente. And what I mean for everybody is because this could be used for anyone. Anyone going through uh, an issue, being oppressed, being put down, discrimination. American Cholo. Much proud, bonito. That's right. Uh, and like he says, one thing I like about Gil is that he's humble and he, he don't try to take credit for this. He says, we all did it. That's what a true leader does. A true leader always leads from the front, but always rallies and motivates his troops, his people. You know what I mean? So with that said, uh, let's talk about this one-on-one uh, -on -one conversation with uh, Gil and Taika. But I did hear a little video where he was apologizing to the Latino community, to the Mexicanos, the Raza Chicanos. And let me tell you something. It takes balls, it takes courage <gasps> to be in front of, I mean, people, period. Whether if it's three, four, five, six, thousands, I'm sure this is right now spreading like a wildfire. To come in front of people and apologize that makes you the better man so listen up people listen up this is grown men shit man this is how real men handle shit we talk about it yeah you no know, it's about talking about issues coming with a solution you know enough with uh being the problem that's it homie what are we gonna get off by being the problem what are we gonna get off by, by wedging war? We're not gonna get nothing. We're not gonna get nowhere, homie. For many years, that's been a strategic move that we have been using right away. Man, let's get down. Let's rush these fools. Let's go look for these fools, man. What's up? That's the way we grew up. We were taught to handle, take care of business quick, ASAP. Anybody could go around shooting a motherfucker. Anybody could stab a motherfucker. Anybody could beat a motherfucker down. But it takes a wise man to find a solution without any blood shed. Do you agree? For many years, we've been hurting ourselves. The enemy's not doing it to us. We're doing it to ourselves. Cause it's it's not them, it's how you react to the situation, to the problem. And man, wow. I like how I like this man. I like the outcome so far. But <laughs> yeah, that but yeah. How many of you seen it coming? But <laughs> the apology, I'm sure is accepted. Right, in behalf of a lot of us, you know. Uh, okay, Vato was man enough to uh, extend that apology. Cool, but now I mean, like, like Gil made a, a very good statement. He said that the apology is not going to be sincere from the heart if that video does not get taken down. Right? I mean, come on, let's be real. I mean, yeah, sorry, but the video's still there. 
still getting views and it's gonna get more views because this conversation between Gil and Tyga is gonna it's gonna make it to major platforms now it's gonna be on talk shows or the news or the TMZ I don't know so guess what that's gonna bring more views to this controversial video you know what I'm saying so who knows who knows if Tiger has the power to put this video down but I mean come on what's so hard of making another one I mean make it up to the people take it down and maybe collab collab with one of the homies that'd be cool who do you think will be good to collab right there if, if Tiger was to make a new video and put a homie on let me know man we're, we're, we're homies man through this platform we're homies we're not followers subscribers or or fans none of that crap man we're homies we're fellow warriors coming together enough 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 of that ignorant stupid shit you know all these motherfucking haters making up uh, this poison spreading this poison between black and brown no, there's no need for all that. That's for ignorant people, man. All that division. That's what that's what the enemy wants. They want to divide and conquer. They know if the black and the brown get together, we'll become a strong force. Oh, well, we've been oppressed for many years. Nah, man. It's over. It's time to pick up our chins and, and keep our head up high and walk with pride with confidence, knowing who we are and what we stand for. Enough with that fucking child's play bullshit, right? So, this video, I think that uh, Tyga has to put it down. I think that would be the icing on the cake. Like, bam, all right, cool, my respects. And let me let you know, man, it's gonna gain a lot of a lot of fans now, Mexicanos, Latinos, people that didn't even know about them. Now they know. And even more people are going to know because, like I said, this is controversial right here. This is controversial. You know, uh, Tyga and Gil, the American Cholo coming together one-on-one. -on -one. Mano a mano. Yeah, man. I could hear that little song, you know, that Western song, you know, and got the two cowboys looking at each other ready to draw their guns <laughs> Cubo. that's right I, I know it wasn't easy it's not easy to get a platform going it's not easy to uh, have people uh, hear your voice it's not easy you know uh, an everyday thing especially when you get trolls and the haters trying to come against you and try to put you down trying to cross you trying to you know, uh, argue, drama, that takes energy, that takes time from your family, from your loved ones, from your private life, you know, so really I uh, wish you the best, homeboy, hopefully you reach those 100,000 subscribers, those of you who don't know, and if he doesn't reach the 100k, he said he's gonna pull the plug, so I doubt it, man. You know, there's a lot of support. There's potential in this shit, man. We need that. Sometimes I know it sounds good and it sounds easy, but man, yeah, it's hard work, especially when we got hard-headed individuals on both sides. So we gotta bridge that. We gotta form that bridge and meet halfway, you know? But hey, that's a whole different topic, different issue. Just know that I'm right here to support anybody with positive vibes and, and, and good intentions. Hey, I'm right here. My door is open, man. Let's do this shit. I'm not enough with the bullshit. You know, just keep it real, man. Nothing but, hey, now the war and the battle is within the self. Getting up early in the morning, going to work, paying the bills, taking care of our kids. Our, our family members, our, our wife, our girlfriends, our, 
Sancha. Oh. Did I say that? No. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> I ain't got no Sancha in it. I'm loyal to my, to my girl. You know what I, what I mean. Those of you that do have a Sancha. You know, you gotta keep it old school, man. I was brought up in the era where a man has to work and provide, you know, be the breadwinner, bring it, the leader, be the alpha. You know what I'm saying? Me entiendes, Mendez. Eso. Oh, speaking up, ma making our voices heard. We all have a voice. We all have an opinion. We just gotta speak up. Enough with being quiet. Enough with turning the other way. We've been doing that for too many years. Our parents, our grandparents, been passing on that bad tactic, bad strategic move. Mind your own. Oh, quédate callado. Oh, no seas chismoso. You know what I mean? Oh, don't be gossiping. Oh, mind your own. Okay, there we go. We're taught to be quiet and not speak up. And guess what? They run over all of us. And if it's not handled like that right away, fuck it, putazos, man, who rush that motherfucker? I mean, we're used to that. That's the way we handle business. That's, that's the way we make we make a statement, you know, by fucking rushing the motherfucker. Oh yeah, you wanna diss me? You wanna diss the hood? You wanna diss my race? You wanna diss my, my homies, my said what I believe in? Fuck it, let's do this. That's the easy way out. Enough of that. Oh, this is not only happening in the street, even in the brick house, the county jail, prison. There's been big changes in how the homies conduct business. I don't want to get too specific in it because, like I said, I don't, I don't touch politics or, or prison stuff like these other channels. You know, I, you know, I, <laughs> there's a line to draw, man. But anyhow, what I want to say is that back in the days when a homie got disrespected, we had cell extractions. We would go at it with the cops. We would go on lockdowns. And a lot of homies got hurt for many years. We were giving these hudas freebies. Finally, we wised up, rised up. And we were like, you know what? Let's pick up paperwork. We gotta file fucking 602s. We gotta put, write these hudas up, these deputies, these COs. And you know what? We found out that the pen and paper actually works better. And guess what? Less homies hurt. A true leader takes care of his troops. You gotta make good decisions for your fellow troops, for your your homies, your riders, your your set, your 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 crew. You want the best for them, so you know what I mean? You don't want to bring heat back to them. So guess what? Wise up. Pen and paper up. Boom, 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 boom. Look, example, we got the homies out to shoot now. Boom. Join freedom. 602. Doo, 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 doo. Get that deputy that's disrespecting and and, and conducting himself unprofessional. Now we get him suspended. Investigation on him. He gets investigated and guess what? He gets fired. And that's happening more. You see that in the county and the prison. You know, violence should be last resort when it comes to finding solutions. You know, a youngster always gonna think different. Youngsters want to make a name for themselves. Youngsters want to prove a point in a violent way. And I know because I've been there done that, homies. I've been there done that. That was my mentality. And now it's like, cool. I'm, 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 I'm older. I see things differently. And we're, we're uh, executing problems different now. Less homies hurt. Less casualties, less drama. We gotta get smart with it. That's why you hear Gil, other homies saying, educate yourself. We gotta educate ourselves. Pick up a damn book. Well, nowadays books are kind of like maybe uh, becoming antiques. I should say, get your <laughs> laptop or your tablet and open up whatever. 
it's out there, right? The point is to fill up your mind, feed it, feed it, water it down, plant, plant in seeds, water it down. And I know reading is not a, I know that a lot of homies don't like it. And I was one of them till I went to jail, locked up in a one man cell for three years. Not having nobody to talk to, I had no choice but to pick up a damn book. If not, I was gonna lose it. That's what kept me sane. And I would, I remember hearing homies on the theater talking about, yeah, this book, and oh, whoa, like, like if it was a movie, all into it, all excited, like, man, I wanna be part of that. I wanna know what they're talking about. So that's when I started asking questions and cool. I opened up a book and I didn't know where to start from the front, the back, the middle. And it didn't happen overnight, homie. It took time, but they say practice makes perfect. And not even that. Nobody's perfect. But you know what I mean. You can't knock it till you try it, homie. All right, now, with that said, man, I just wanted to come in here real quick. The homie American Cholo. Keep doing your thing, homie. I tip my hat for the rest of uh, my warriors out there. That's the perfect example of coming together, becoming a strong force. Remember, life is war. Every day is a battle. Gotta get suited, homie. Leave stole. Because the battle could be, it could be spiritual, it could be physical or mental. So you gotta always stay ready, exercise those three things body the spirit and the mind if you do hey homie when you come face to face with adversity hmm, man and amigo better watch out yes so right much love and respect i am manny the jaguar paul much love and respect all my people out there warriors kind of guys huh I'm gonna rest you. I need more. See more get sick. Shake them dies on me. I'm gonna rest you. Life is a gamble. Woo woo.